Okay, well, you just saw my new four cylinder running um, and actually self destructing. Um, using the shop vac, it's a little bit too much for it. Um, and I uh, popped one of the cylinder, uh, pistons right off. Uh, it's this one right here. I can just pop it right back in there. There it goes. Um, no, it's back to normal. Um, it's basically the same design as my other uh, three-cylinder engine, but it's a lot more compact because um, the uh, the way that I build it up is by using two by four bricks going like this, kind of like Jenga style, building up the cylinder. And I built up individual ones for my three-cylinder, but they're um, combined together in this one um, as you can see two cylinders are right next to each other so it's a lot more compact and I don't know what that does for efficiency it probably makes it a little bit more efficient I would assume and I got the camshaft very close to the cylinder unlike my three cylinder which maybe makes it a little bit more efficient I don't really know um, I just hope that it does. Um, it's basically the same thing as my other one. Um, and I just wanted to get a video of this thing before I dismantled it for my next project, which I cannot wait to show you. Anyways, catch you later. Oh, and uh, I thought you might like to see the four cylinder doing a little bit of work. It's a lot more torquey, let's say, than my three cylinder because there's more <coughs> power stroke overlap um, and it can do much more work at low RPMs than my three cylinder. So I'll give it a go with this guy and then see how long it lasts with the power uh, shop back. <laughs> Once it gets up to RPM, it starts moving. I'm amazed that it stayed together. I guess it doesn't like high RPM. <laughs> 